Welcome to the first meditation in a series on fasting. Find a comfortable position to begin your practice. And take a cleansing, deep breath in through the nose and quickly release everything out through the mouth. Take another breath in, this time controlling the exhale and closing the eyes. Return the breath back to a natural inhale and exhale. Today we practice focus, strengthening our ability to hold our attention intentionally for longer periods of time. Choose something to be the object of your attention. I often use the breath for its movement and energy giving properties, but maybe you want to try something different and choose a physical feeling in the body or a sound in the environment or maybe you want to open your eyes and choose something you can see begin to let each inhale sharpen your focus on your object or feeling and let outside thoughts leave the mind with each exhale Really notice your object here. What qualities does it have? Take the next minute to sit with this object. If your focus begins to wander at any point, once you notice, bring the focus back. This gentle redirection is just as important in strengthening our focus as the noticing is. Now coming back together, every Christian denomination has different rituals and practices when it comes to the season of Lent, and fasting is not the only way to strengthen relationship with God. But if you do choose to fast, from whatever that may be, my intention is that this series can be used as a way to refocus each week 
and prepare our hearts for the death and resurrection of our Savior. Just as we practice realigning our focus to our chosen object, fasting provides us the time and opportunity to refocus our minds and hearts on our relationship with God. As we prepare for this Lenten season, we are reminded that this is truly between ourselves and God. Spend a moment in prayer here asking for guidance and deciding whether or not you should fast. How you should fast. what you should fast from, and your purpose, your why behind fasting. What is your true motivation behind fasting for the next 40 days? Continue your prayer as Matthew chapter 6 verses 16 through 18 are read. And when you fast, don't make it obvious, as the hypocrites do, for they try to look miserable and disheveled, so people will admire them for their fasting. They tell you the truth, that it is the only reward they will ever get. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face. Then no one will notice that you are fasting, except your father, who knows what you do in private. And your father, who sees everything, will reward you. And we end our prayer now. Lord, lead me along the path of your will. Teach me to be your disciple. Nurture humility in me. and grow in me a spirit of love for you. Amen. And as your meditation comes to a close, find the calming rhythm of breath and sit with it for as long as you would like. Then when you are ready, take a gentle stretch and open the eyes. And as your day continues, find moments to inhale purpose and exhale fear.